For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Kelly Schultz. Joining me from the BSU women's hockey team is Brittany Mowat, senior goaltender and alternate captain out of Glenboro, Manitoba. And first of all, Britt, you've played in 131 games, 3,522 saves, 61 wins, and 17 shutouts, many other accolades. Your freshman year, you were all WCHA rookie, sophomore year, first team All-American. You've been a WCHA scholar athlete, academic, all WCHA. But to you, what matters most, the goaltender records or the academic honors? Um, that's a tough question. They both obviously mean a lot to me, and those mean a lot, and the memories, I guess, mean a ton to me, too. That's pretty much what I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. So the memories at Bemidji State are one of the things that I'm going to take away from it the most. Of your 61 wins, is there one that stands out that you'll always remember? Um, I guess kind of going into this playoff weekend, beating the Gophers was always fun in the past. I think one that sticks out to me the most was our one nothing win in the final faceoff two years ago. That's the one that I remember the most, too. Uh, a huge win, first WCHA championship game for your team. How much do you guys think about that as a senior class? Obviously, your juniors and sophomores were there, too, two years ago. Do you go into this weekend going, we have a chance at the Gophers, maybe the final faceoff? Yeah, going into the weekend, I know Coach told me that seven has never beaten two before, and that kind of just gives us a little challenge, and we like a little challenge, I guess. And we know we can beat the Gophers. It's obviously going to be a great challenge, and they're an unreal team. They don't get beat too often, but we have confidence going into the weekend. You guys are the underdogs. Does that kind of give you the edge going in? I feel like the four years I've been here, we've always kind of been the underdogs, even that Final Four tournament, we were the underdogs, and we came across and beat that. I think they were the number one team in the tournament. So we're used to being the underdogs, and I think anything can happen at that stage. All right, your senior year, your team came in with high expectations. After a great season where you won 22 games, obviously with that kind of high expectations and the season that you've had as a senior, do you think the adversity has made you a stronger person? Yeah, I know a lot of people doubted our team coming in just because of the great players we did lose, but we faced adversity, and I think this final weekend of playoffs, or the first weekend of playoffs, is just kind of another challenge that our team is used to facing. Britt, do you have any plans after graduation of playing hockey still? Um, I don't know about playing hockey. I have to finish school because school's always been first for me, so I have to finish student teaching, and that'll be, I think, 16 more weeks. All right, and I know you probably don't mind me asking you this or bringing it up. Um, the fans may not know this, but you date BSU's men's goaltender, Michael Bitzer, two goaltenders. Do you guys compare notes after weekends? Um, <laughs> not so much. I know he's having a great year this year, and we don't really compare hockey too much. It's two different levels, two different teams, so we just kind of focus on our own hockey and see where that takes us. How fun has it been watching him play? It's exciting. They're having a great year, and I think they can take it far this year just like we can. So I think they just got to take it one weekend at a time and as much as we do, and I think we both have exciting playoff runs ahead of us. What's it going to take for your team to beat the Gophers this weekend? Um, first of all, I think we're just going to have to be consistent and structured. I know kind of from watching the Wisconsin-Minnesota game the past weekend, they just kind of commented on how mistakes lead to goals. So I know we're just going to have to be pretty much error-free because good teams like that just take your turnovers and turn them into goals for them. So I know we're just going to have to be very consistent with them and play the best hockey we have all year. Britt, I have faith that your team can do this this weekend. Good luck, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thank you.